Residents of Tree Planting, a suburb in the eastern part of Freetown, fetch water from a stream. This water, which runs from beneath nearby mountains, is the only source of water for this community located in one of the most deprived parts of the Sierra Leonean capital. Some members of the community erected this wall around the water body to protect it against contamination. But obviously, it's not enough. It's exposed to a whole lot of polluting substances from above. Beneath the water, a mixture of garbage and dirt is visible, from dead leaves to used plastic bags and sachets of alcoholic drinks blown from the nearby dump site. In the dry season, the concerns of these residents switch from hygiene to access, especially between March and May, when the water sources dries up. They say marsh business. Yeah, all said on the guy. It's all in the guy. Yeah, all said the guy. No send on the water to get water. So where are they at? How many water? So where are they at? Pass with patience. Each in order. Each in order. They are looking for looking for place now. We say for make each in order. Pass my money now. They come here. If you say for me, it's another. So you have to. You have to say can't so clock. You have to clear. 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 You have to the three communities, alongside part of the more affluent hill station, constitute Ward 395. Tree planting is one of the most neglected among them in terms of basic services. Most of its population make their living engaging in subsistence farming or stone breaking. This community will get more challenges, as you might see. You see, as you can see, currently they get a road network where they go on, right? But um, the community people and get Bokoko constrained. One, outside people and for touring and garbage is a problem. As you can see, all the place filter with dirty. That is one. We now get running pipe for get good drinking water in this community. The source where they get water from, if you turn around, you will see what's in the happen day. Now, it's stream where they can dump, where dirty, other person can dump something under. So, really, will get a challenge towards health hazard, right? You can also see the market women then. We now get markets in this place. The woman and somebody in land or drive where they go in and the people that they sell. The effort to access water for domestic use perfectly illustrates the daily struggle for residents of tree planting. For the majority of the people, this stream is the only source of all their water needs for laundry, drinking, and even cooking. This, says Aminata Mansari, makes life unbearable. Now all would they survive, okay. they get the water, but would they strain right now? Them boys they, they take care for this water here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where the, 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 the day they come, the water they dry, the day they clean them. Water here, yeah, would they suffer for water, would not even get pump now yeah. You yeah. see, this water now, yeah, would they book, now they would they get back, but if in a pump like they can make for we, that time they now, we able to get water, would they get for drink, we able to get side, the one where would they left for us. We have to get the water they left for book back. You see, so, so still we they beg, we they beg, Papa government say we they beg for for water for drink. The problems of tree planting are complicated by politics. Half of it falls within the Western Area Urban District, administered by the Freetown City Council, while the other half is in the Western Area Rural District. This means that they have two councillors, but residents say when they have a concern. Either councillor tends to deflect it onto the other. But during elections, they hardly see boundaries. Consequently, no one has any idea where to start in efforts to fix the community's seemingly unending problems, like the lack of an official dump site. Residents dump their waste in every open space, including in the football field, which is a concern for Sadius Blake. This field People and they use that for sports activities there, for school, picking at the area, community schools. So like if people and continue for two or they are among people and health concerns and other places and there are people that they decide. So the Dotina a main concern who they ask for people and inclusion, laws see how best to go for Kotsi, then kind of problem there. 
Added to these concerns is the protracted construction work on the only highway that links the community to the rest of the city. The work started in November 2021, but the Chinese contractor suddenly stopped without any explanation. The people are frustrated by the silence of the authorities on the reason for this. What they use as their market is located on a private land, which they fear could be reclaimed by its owner at any time. The dumping site is on a land belonging to the University of Sierra Leone. I think it's a three plants in a, one of the oldest communities um, within this mountain region. I say, okay. I can say the Gloucesters, Leicesters, and three plants, you know. But here, from Leicester Junction, there, Casada Farm and all, and three plants. Then we get this other aspect of Leicester Road, we join at the same ski plant. Then we get the other parts where they go by Samiton, Dwazak, and we connect to the Dongli whole area. So we are like a hub. We sit in between them side and day. Mm -hmm. But some other places where they use this water actually, that the concentrated part of this part, you know, where you don't see towards the streets, ranging from that other street where you see when a cargo drive or so, mm -hmm. can this Leicester Road, and then they use this water, and now they make the bulk of the population of the three plants in certain way. Youth leader Prince Raphael has been trying to mobilize the community youth to work together to alleviate their suffering. He says lack of a sense of leadership has prevented him from achieving this goal. The result is the unsightly environmental condition all over the place. We major concern our uh, leadership because now the vacuum of leadership they make we identify say issues and they will not get any community ownership. The vacuum of leadership in the community don't cause too many disasters for we and they tell on the relationship, you know, the health hazards and they show too much because out of complacency, nobody not there for movie or audrey said that this will happen. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, leadership is a critical um, um, absence of what it takes for make we move forward as a community. Then the other thing is unity. Mm -hmm. But it boils down to leadership as well. We're not united, we not unite as a community. Mm -hmm. But that not means that we're not going to be able to unite. We know already the issues where they make the disunity day. Fellow community leader Alex Bendu agrees. Me one let we let we embark on that side. Let we get a structure leadership. People were ready for like give give themselves for the community work. I believe say that will help. Because it's just the quality tell you, I don't move in various communities and I learn from what I see that they do. So I say I say for let we able to do anything, it has to do with leadership. If we don't get that kind of leadership, but I mean leaders are ready for give themselves for do the work. I believe say with that, it will help. We don't try them, but waiting can cause the problem actually at the national politics. We try for let me get a leadership to go vote in national politics kind side. Bendu says they are rethinking in their own ways how to overcome the influence of politics on their development needs. We know say there are challenges. You don't understand what I mean. But sometimes you engaging with the community people then because where the people then they so they're not happy with them they so. Anytime they see now look we are left now attack sit again. Anytime somebody are left and attack the same for the whole arm. So if you come in, you sit down with them, you get a dialogue with them, trust me, solution in good day. Because they say not glad you nobody not the way happy with in state of condition we're not okay. So I feel if they can come in, but they say I say who side and lack, they need to meet to the people them. The name is to the community people. They don't no even want to know what the community they, they go to. The only time if he says some of them come up, now we come to the house, to the NGO, they come for can work. And that's how they see them come in. But I can tell you, from a clear point of view, no counselor, no more that, more the memo, you know, not ever come up with your own idea or your own work, say, out of no NGO, now this I do as a counselor. That's the problem. We know, say, when I know they get phone, now out of our lobby, you don't understand what I mean. But lobby the right way and share the resources to the right people. They make everybody get them. But this is not the issue. Some took concern about pocket, some concern about maintaining that symbol where they give them. These are the people. These are the problems. So they make them able to achieve some of them goals. Like Bendo, journalist and community advocate Mohammed Lyrics Bangura believes politics is at the root of the whole problem of the community. And he says, with the current arrangement, there can be no end in sight for the suffering of the people. The only way out is to take their destiny in their own hands, he stresses. 
we need people who can represent us who stays in that community okay. that's one we don't need the political parties to choose leader for us we 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 can decide who should lead us or who should not they 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 we are going to start a campaign no representative in the community no votes we are calling on the apc party because for decade since people started to vote in this country apc dominate that particular community they have a representative for example they have councillor member of parliament mayor in the capital city and still we are suffering 11 years since president koma ruled no better road no electricity no good water and still we are suffering so it's a challenge for us this time around if there is no representative in our community we are, we are not going to vote Memu Memunatu Soya is one of the two councillors of the area. She is responsible for Ward 429. She declined to comment when contacted by Mano reporters to respond to the concerns raised by her ward. She says she doesn't have to explain herself to the media. Councillor Zakaria Kane, on the other hand, acknowledges the concerns of the people, although he says they are equally to blame for some of the problems they face. In my capacity as a councillor, I have made tremendous efforts and I have tried in my own little way by advocating or representing them in the council of which they voted me to represent them. You know, in governance, especially also representing the people at the local level, I always tell them that um, we need to take ownership in terms of development. The garbage you have seen at the other end of the road, it's been deposited there by people. And they know the repercussion having that kind of um, thing within the locality in terms of health. We have been talking to them and advocating. It became a time when the council, we provided talks that the central government gave to us and that people should own up to development and own up to their responsibility in terms of waste, that they should be paying minimal amount to those service providers that will be coming around. Apart from council, there are other service providers. But people prefer them going around depositing those garbage rather than paying a minimal amount that will be taken to the dump site. I have spoke to them many times. After politics, we should not embrace political rivalry or we should not embrace anything that has to do with division. After politics, we should all come back together. Whether it be it APC, whether it be it SLPP, you have right to support the party when it's election. But after election, we as elected leaders should be at the forefront to reunite the people again. And that's what exactly I have been doing. I have never come up with issue to me or concern that I have ever referred it to my colleague counselor. No. I always take it as my responsibility that their welfare is my responsibility. And I, I owe them that obligation. I have held several meetings there that have summoned. People also hate attending meetings. They rather prefer sitting in the corners, complaining, rather than coming together for us to bring out the issues and see how best we can address them together. They have never called on me on anything that I have never responded to. Councillor Kane, who resides in Leicester, walks from his office located at the Leicester Road Junction, which links the two communities. He says he has always answered to the call of his ward. On the day of this interview, he says he had been busy trying to fix the issue of their broken transmitter, which led to months of blackouts in the tree planting community. As he promised, electricity was restored to the community within days of this interview. But for the rest of the concerns, even Councillor Kane himself has no idea about the way forward, except that they have to keep the feet and continue lobbying the central government. For the people of tree planting, it is just a matter of wait and see. But if they have any doubt about their leadership, then they have an opportunity to rectify that with the next round of elections around the corner.